Hi, I'm uh, Madeline, or Maddie. Um, welcome to my channel. I'm still working on the name, so we're getting around to it. <laughs> um, and then once I figure out a name, I'll change my handle and all that, but for now, <laughs> um, it is what it is. <laughs> um, today I was hoping that I could show you um, the books in my bookshelf, this has some, been something that I've wanted to do for a very long time. <laughs> so, um, I organize my books by author's last names, or the best I can. Author's last names, sometimes the books don't quite fit into a category, or I can't find an author's last name anywhere. Um, I can't even find, like, an artist's last name, so, and then sometimes the books have, like, multiple last names, um, because it was co-written, and so sometimes it's just hard to place it, um, but, um, I think my, f this first video, because I was thinking about making this two parts, I think this first video is just going to be me showing you guys, um, the books I kind of have. I think the second video is going to be me explaining the books and kind of what they're about. Um, in this video I will be telling you if I've read them yet. Um, warning, um, I have not read a lot of the books on my bookshelf because I am slowly but surely getting through them. Um, reading is just a hobby for me and I'm just enjoying <laughs> the books. So without further ado, let's get started. Um, okay. So the first book on my bookshelf is Cinderella is Dead um, by Kellen Bryan. I think that's her last name. Um, I have not read this book. It is actually a new addition to my library. Well, my bookshelf. Um, I'm hoping that I can have a library of my own one day, like a home library. Um, I'm very excited for this book. Um, again, I haven't read it yet, but I've heard that it's really, really good. Um, the next book on my shelf is Lore by Alexandra Bracken. I actually have read this book. Um, it is seriously a really good book and I highly recommend it. Um, if you really enjoy Greek mythology, um, I think you would really enjoy this book. Um, yeah i really love this one um i think in my second series uh, my second part um not only will I be telling you a little bit about the books but i will also be giving you kind of my thoughts on them as well um fun fact about this book it is actually the only book on my bookshelf that because of the author's last name it does not fit properly on my bookshelf so I have to lay it sideways like not sideways like this but sideways like this on my shelf for it to fit because my shelf just isn't tall enough <laughs> um so that's really silly um <laughs> Next, we have Storm Runner by uh, JC. I'm gonna butcher this. Servants, I believe. Um, I apologize if I do mispronounce mispronounce any um, first or last names in this video because <laughs> I am not the best. Um, I've not read this one yet. Um, another one that I've heard is really, really good. 
Um, it is also, um, a part of, like, the branding of the Rick Riordan Presents, so, um, I have high expectations for this book when I do get around to reading it. Um, but yeah. And the cover is beautiful. Um, it looks like it's going to be a really good book. Um, I don't know where this is on my TBR just yet because currently I'm trying to get through the Rick Riordan series. Um, speaking of which, if you guys would like to hear me read or um, <laughs> anything of that sort, um, that would be great to know. <laughs> um, okay. The next one that I have on my shelf, oop, it's backwards, um, is actually a manga. It's the Spy Family manga. Um, Spy Family is a series, and I'm not done collecting the series by any means. Um, but um, it is by Tasuya Indo, I believe, is how you pronounce that. Um, I really like this manga series um, so far, and I really um, am enjoying the show on Hulu. Um, highly recommend it. Um, and given the name, um, it is about a spy and, um, his kind of, kind of family. Like, it's a fake family, so if you like fake family and kind of supernaturally spy stuff like this is this is the manga that you need to get into um so um I don't know if I'm gonna show you all the covers because I have one through eight currently um I might circle back to it at the end of the video depending on how long it takes me to get through my shelf um the next one I have is another manga um the back would probably get me this video taken down so i'm not gonna show you that um but it is the my hero academia um vigilantes um by hayuki fuhashi definitely did not pronounce that right this series really isn't my favorite i haven't gotten through this book all the way um but it's kind of slow um i really enjoy my hero academia but i don't know if vigilantes is the right series for me um i will finish this book at some point just to give it it, it a chance but yeah vigilantes was just not my favorite <laughs> so um you're gonna notice that i have a lot of i have quite a bit of manga um <laughs> okay the next is an oldie for me um, <laughs> um it is goddess girls <laughs> um book one because this is also a series i own quite a few series um i forgot to mention cinderella is dead i believe is a standalone and lore is a standalone um i think storm runner is a series but don't quote me on that um vigilantes is also a series um but i don't know if i'll be going back for the rest of it anyway goddess girls um series um it is by Joan Holb, I believe, and Suzanne Williams. Um, I placed it in H's because Joan was listed first. Um, 
but it's another Greek mythology type series. Um, I read this. I read this book and most of the series when I was in elementary school, I believe. So this was a throwback to find. Um, yes, moving on. <laughs> it was really good. It, from what I remember, it was really good. I really enjoyed it as a kid. Um, another manga, My Hero Academia, as you men I mentioned earlier. Um, I really enjoy My Hero Academia. Actually, my shirt is My Hero Academia, uh, if you hadn't guessed or hadn't seen it yet. Um, yes, My Hero Academia, really good anime series and really good manga. Um, oh, I forgot to mention to you, I've not read all the Spy Family, um, not done with Vigilantes, and I've read Goddess Grove. So we're caught up. I keep forgetting that I told you that, I tell you guys that. I actually have not read the manga, but that's because I watched the series and so I know most of what's going on. I do plan on actually reading the manga though, um, and I plan on getting the full series eventually. I only have books one and two currently, um, but yeah. <laughs> um, okay, now that we've gotten past my manga, we are getting into my obsessions um, and the actual books. Okay, so next we have Displacement um, by Kiki Hughes. Um, I have not read this one. This is um, another new addition to my um, like home bookshelf. Um, the front and back are beautiful. I love the art. Um, it is a graphic novel um, about a accidental time traveler, I believe. So I'm very excited to get into this one. I do plan on reading this one soon um, after I finish a book that I am borrowing. <laughs> um, and I will tell you guys about that one too at the end of this video because it's not my book it's not part of my own like owned library <laughs> so um i'm actually borrowing it from someone so i will tell you guys about that book at the end um oh, come on okay next is one of my personal favorite books um i fell in love with hope um, by Lanky, Lan, 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 I don't know how to pronounce her name, um, but it is a really good book, um, the art on the front is gorgeous, um, it is about mental, uh, mentally, chronic, uh, chronically ill kids, um, um, it shows you some really good mental illness, it shows you some physical illness and disability. This has a lot of really good rep. Um, like, it has a really, a lot of really good representation. I highly recommend it. Um, and it is a newer book. I believe it came out last year, if I remember right. Um, I got it when it was first release because I heard about it on TikTok um and it is really good <laughs> I loved this book and I do not regret it <laughs> okay next some of y'all may be familiar with this one but I have Nick and Charlie by Alice Oseman um go watch the second series um because it came out on August 3rd and it is so good um <laughs> but obviously if you're familiar um with the show uh heartstopper this is nick and charlie <laughs> from heartstopper 
Um, and from what I've gathered, because I have not read it yet, I've recently got it. This is the third the third book out of four that I got recently and just added to my shelf. Um, <laughs> but yes, from what I have understand, it's just more of their story. It's a cute little side piece. It's a novella, which means it's not attached to the actual Heartstopper series. Um, but yeah, it's super cute. I've read the little like back piece of like the, the guide to Americans because American um and it actually helped explain some of the things about Heartstopper and Britain slash England um that Americans don't understand or don't usually understand like sixth form it was really helpful the back piece was um I'm really excited for that story um next is another one that I have not read but I am so excited for I got it for my birthday um last year and I have not got a chance to read it but it is Radio Silence by Alice Hoseman <sighs> it is so good like so good I am so excited for it um I'm so excited to read this one <laughs> but if I remember right this one is about Alan, I think that's how you pronounce his name, um, from the book series Heartstopper, not the show. Um, he was taken out for the show because he has his own little story and Alice didn't want that to get mixed up. So, from what I understand, um, again, not always the most reliable source. <laughs> so, definitely do your own research. Um, but I'm very excited for Radio Silence, um, and I'm excited to s explore Alad's story, you know? Um, so yes. Next is Girl from the Sea. The cover is beautiful, the art is beautiful, it's another graphic novel. Um, I read the story and it was just such a beautiful story. Um, it's about, um, I don't remember their names. Sorry. Um, <laughs> it's about Morgan and Keatley, um, who fall in love, um, and they're, it's just their cute little love story and you, there's a lot of ups and downs for them. So I really enjoyed this book. <laughs> um, I can always go more in depth on each book next time, but yes. Next is Bloom. Um, oh, I forgot to tell you. Um, Girl from the Sea is by Molly Knox Ostertag. I believe that's how you pronounce that last name. Um, but yes, back to Bloom. <laughs> So it is by uh, Kevin Pantetta and Savannah Gonchiriyu. I don't know how to pronounce that. Again, really beautiful art. I really enjoyed the story. It kind of gave me Heartstopper vibes the entire time. Um, whoa, <laughs> sorry. Um, so if you really enjoyed Heartstopper, I think you would really enjoy this one. It is another graphic novel. Um, which is really good. <laughs> um, okay, this next one you're going to be kind of disappointed in me because I loaned out my first book of it. But this is the second book. It is Percy Jackson by Rick Riordan. Um, I have the entire Percy Jackson series, or I almost have the entire Percy Jackson series. I'm missing the fifth book because I haven't bought it in the new cover yet, and I'm missing the first book because I haven't bought it in the new cover yet. Um, but I do have an older version of the first Percy Jackson book. I just wanted all my covers to match. Um, and it's because I have a hard version, a 
hardback version of the first book that I got years ago and that's what got me started on Percy Jackson. Um, my grandma was going to sell it in her garage sale and I was looking for a new book and I was like I'll take it off your hands. Um, so she let me have it and it started me down a very long road. Percy Jackson. I borrowed all of the Percy Jackson books from my school library um, and so now I'm going back to try and buy them all because well I wanted the series. Um, highly recommend. It is so good. Um, you will get pulled into the world. <laughs> I say that for a lot of my books because I truly do enjoy a lot of my books. Um, I don't judge books very harshly so yes you may or may not enjoy it um, but it is Greek mythology and if you're looking for a new book why not try it you know okay the next couple I'm gonna go through really fast because they're all by Rick Gordon um, but they're all side side books for Percy Jackson so First, we have The Demigod Diaries. Um, not finished with it yet because I'm waiting to read all the side series for when I get done with all the other series <laughs> because they're all connected. That's why I love it. Um, but yes, first one, Demigod Diaries. Then we have Percy Jackson and the Olympians. Um, I haven't read it again because I'm coming back to them. Then we have Percy Jackson and the Olympians, The Ultimate Guide. Um, oh, Percy Jackson and the Olympian and the Demi. Uh, Percy Jackson, The Olympians, and the Olympians, The Demigod Files. Sorry, butchered the title. Had to go back and fix it. The Ultimate Guide. <laughs> um, haven't read it. And Camp Half Blood Company. <laughs> confidential um haven't read it but i plan on getting around to all of those after i'm done because next up is the box series of heroes of olympus um i keep them in my little box series because look at that art it's just beautiful um but also it's just easier to carry that way for me um but yes, I have read all of those, hence the cracking on the spines, just because I was not careful when I opened them, um, and I pushed a little too hard, but books are meant to be loved, so <laughs> yes. Um, and that is a part of the Percy Jackson world. Um, Percy Jackson carries over into Roman mythology because Heroes of Olympus is very based on it is based on Roman mythology. Um, then we have the box set trilogy of Cain Chronicles. Um, again, by Rick Gordon. This one's got a little graphic novel. I have not read any of them um, because this is the next series that I'm starting of this world. Again, it's connected to Percy Jackson and Heroes of Olympus. Um, but this one is about uh, Egyptian mythology. I think. I think it's, yeah. Yeah, it's based on Egyptian mythology. I had to double check. Um, <laughs> um, I also have a hard, uh, hard, <laughs> a hard copy of the first book of that um, because I'm a nerd and I like hard books because they more than paperbacks. Okay, and then followed up by Demigods and Magicians. This one's after King Chronicles because the magicians are a part of King Chronicles. Um, and it says Percy and Annabeth meet the Cairns. Um, so yes, I am reading this one after I finish the King Chronicles series. Um, because it just makes sense to read it after. Um, if it has to do with them. So then we got... Brooklyn's House and the Magician Manuals, uh, ma Magician's Manual, um, for the King Chronicles series. Again, haven't read it yet. I'm gonna read it after the King Chronicles. 
um, just seems like the best spot to read it. Also, just so you know, because these are all by Rick Rodin, um, all of the next books that I'm about to show you are by Rick Rodin. Um, they are in order, they are in, they are mostly in chronological order of, um, how to read them, of the world, basically. Um, the only things that aren't chronologically in order are the side books and um, if there were any books that happened in between series because I like to keep my series together um, and read them together because it makes me less confused. Um, next, Magnus Chase and the Gods of Avatar. Magnus Chase the series is a trilogy um, by Rick Rodin and it is based on Norse mythology. Um, again, connected to the rest of his series. Um, the characters are connected. Okay. Followed up by this, the side books of Magnus Chase, The Guide to the, to the North, Norse Worlds. Okay. And then you follow that up with nine from the nine worlds. I haven't read any of those because I'm reading them in order. <laughs> okay. Then I have The Trials of Apollo after Magnus Chase. Um, again, connected to the rest of the books and by Rick Rorden. Um, I feel like I have to reiterate that because I just don't want you guys to get too confused. Um, this is a five series book. Um, it is a five book series. <laughs> is what I was trying to say. Um, I haven't read it yet. I'm really excited for it though. I'm excited for all of these books because they're all connected and I love when books are connected. Um, okay. Oh, sorry. I knocked something over that I was not supposed to knock over. Um, it's okay. It's fine. Um, I'm really excited for this one. The Sun and the Star. <laughs> By Rick Rorden and Mark Oshiro. Because it is queer. Um, it about, it, it is based, it is for Nico D'Angelo and Will Solstice's love story, I believe, is the entire basis of this book. And it's their adventure and everything. I'm so excited for this one, but it is the last one that I get to read. So I am, I am trying to get through the books, but I have other books on my priority list right now. So I'm trying to get through them, but there's a lot of them that I'm gonna have to get through before I can get to this one, unfortunately. But also fortunately, because I'm excited for all those two. I'm just really excited for this one. Um, okay. Remember how I added new books to my bookshelf? This is the fourth and final one that I added. Um, and it is Mooncakes um, by... Oh. Wendy... Zhao, I think is how you pronounce that last name. Suzanne Walker and Jomanette Gill. Um, it is about witches. That is, I know that it is queer and it is about witches. And that is really all I know um, other than it's a graphic novel. I am very excited for it. <laughs> The thing about me is just because I read series doesn't mean that I don't read other books in between series, even though I like to keep them together and read them together. Um, and usually I space that out with graphic novels, actually, because I can read through graphic novels really easily and they're usually standalone. So it makes it easy for me. <laughs> Next, Taproot, another graphic novel, queer, um, 
about a ghost and a necromancer slash gardener. Um, it is really cute. The art is beautiful. Let me let me show you. Let me let me show you this art. Look at that. Look, it is gorgeous art. Um, I just remember like fangirling <laughs> to some of my friends about this book when I read it. It was really good. Um, and I say bad girling, even though I'm not a girl. <laughs> um, I guess I forgot to tell you guys that I use they them pronouns. So just a disclaimer. Um, okay, next. You guys are going to be really mad at me, but I have read the Harry Potter series, like much like a, a lot of people. <laughs> and this was before I found out um, so I have the ultimate Harry Potter spell guide, <laughs> but the thing is, it doesn't have an author name on it. Um, I would assume that it is by JK Rowling, because it is a part of the Harry Potter world, but that may not be true. So, <laughs> it doesn't have an author name on it, that is why it's at the end of my shelf, because I just did not know where to place it um and I have not read that book yet okay the tales of beetle and bark is next um this one is by JK Rowling So I've got to reorder, but this will go after the sun and star on my shelf after I reorder. Um, cause I kind of forgot that it was by JK Rowling when I put on new books on my shelf. Um, <laughs> yikes. Um, I started reading this. I'm not done with it. Um, but I might just start the book over cause I don't really remember what it's about anyway. <laughs> um, but yeah so those are my, all my actual book books um slash graphic novels um the last and final thing that i have on my shelf that i don't place in author like by author because it just didn't make sense to for me um is my embroidery book um it's called thread folk um and i just use it to help me embroider so <laughs> it's got some things that i can embroider and all that so yeah um that's my bookshelf um i hope that you guys enjoy um enjoyed this video now i'm going to go grab um, the book that I borrowed and that I'm currently reading and I'll show you guys that! Gotta love when there's noise outside your window. I hope that you guys can hear me. Um, <laughs> I will grab you the borrowed book and I'll show you that. Um, so I'll see you in just a minute. Okay, I'm back. That pro that wasn't any time for you guys, but... <laughs> Yeah. Okay. So I have The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo by Taylor Jenkins Reid. It is so good so far. Um, sorry. <laughs> I am not done with it yet. Um, I'm still reading it. Um, but it was kind of a slow start. Um, but it is worth it to keep going. So if you guys also start reading this and you're like, oh man, this, this starts out slow. I promise once you get through the beginning, it is so good. Um, and it, it is a really interesting and intriguing story. When I pick it up, I just cannot put it down. So, um, it is also queer. Um, so if you guys like queer novels um 
then you guys would enjoy this one. <laughs> but that is all the books that I own, plus the one I borrowed, um, that I'm currently really reading. That is my current read. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you for coming to my channel and um, hit that subscribe button, I guess. <laughs> Peace out.